and you've made it to step three. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add documents as well as pre-fill them and what to do if you can't access the documents the first time you're in. So as you can see here, I have a fake fire and you can see there's some documents in here. DocuSign now, when you move from command into the room for the first time, is sometimes adding documents that it thinks you might need. So I didn't actually go in and add these. And you may notice um, if your DocuSign is connected um, to your NRDS number that some documents are already pulled over for you. So if that happens, great. But maybe there's still some that you're missing. For example, you might need a county document. I'm going to show you how to add those documents that you don't have in here. You would come up to this add button and you're going to select DocuSign forms. And from here, you should see groups and you can see that we've made groups or folders based on different areas. So like the buyer consultation or the contract of sales that would be putting an offer. We hit show more. You also see there's some for listings down here. You will also see libraries based on counties as well as MAR, the Maryland Association of Realtors. And from here, you let's say we're working with the Anne Arundel County and you know that you're going to need, um, you know, one of these. I don't know, let's pick one. Um, the electronic lockbox. You know you're going to need that one. Now, it might say over here that you don't have access. If it looks like it does now for me, great, your NRGS is connected. If it says that you don't have access, then before taking this step, what you're going to do is you're going to come over to your initials over here in the right hand corner. You're going to select preferences. You see a new page comes up. You're going to go to integrations. From integrations, you're going to see DocuSign form settings. You're going to see providers. You're going to want to click add provider. Now, I've already done this, so I can't select it again, but if you don't have access, it probably means that you haven't selected um, the forms provider yet. In your case, it would be Realtor, see National Association Realtor. Once you click on this, it will then have you put your NRDS number, which if you don't know, you can look from that page. There's a little link at the bottom um, that'll say, look up your NRDS number. It'll also ask for your last name and the board that you're a part of, which most likely is the Greater Baltimore Board of Realtors. And then once you do that, um, and go back to the room, you should be able to see those documents. Now, if you've already done that, you would have seen what I saw, which is that little I, and then you could add it. And I am just going back into that room, which I think was this one, yes. So from the documents page, we saw that I could go to add, document sign forms, again, for, an example, I'm just gonna pick any random one um, and add selected. And then it, you can see it added it to the room. Now from here, let's say you've already gone into details and you've added all the information that you can. I haven't, but um, let's say you have, so you know all that information is gonna carry over into your documents. And so now you wanna pre-fill some information before you send it. Um, to an envelope to add signatures and initials. You can just click on one of the documents. And as it comes up, you will see that there are text boxes that you can type into. So chances are more of this information would be filled in because you filled in the details page of DocuSign. But let's say there's some missing, like the date you can, well, this actually has the date box, so I can just select. But let's say, all right, this is one you'll have to fill out, buyer authorization. You're saying, um, you know, what you're going to help them find, right? You can then type in residential in this piece. Any other things, you know, terms uh, of the agreement, you can, you know, type in the date here, how they can terminate. You get to type these things in. And you can do this here where the text boxes are. It's a lot easier doing it now before moving into the envelope. So let's say I filled out everything and now I wanna hit 
save and close. You would do that for each of the documents. And in the next video, the final video, I will show you how to take these documents that you just added as much as you could to and how to get them into an envelope and send them to your client.